In the annals of television history, few animals have captured the imagination and hearts of audiences like Bamboo Harvester, better known as Mr. Ed, the talking horse. This remarkable Palomino stallion, with his unique ability to speak to his owner and the audience, became an icon of American pop culture in the 1960s through the sitcom Mr. Ed. Beyond his on-screen antics and witty banter, Bamboo Harvester's story is one of talent, training, and the special bond he shared with his trainers and co-stars. His portrayal of Mr. Ed brought joy and laughter to viewers, making the idea of a talking horse a beloved and unforgettable part of television lore. Dive into the tale of Bamboo Harvester, whose legacy as Mr. Ed continues to evoke nostalgia and charm in the story of Hollywood's most famous talking horse. Once upon a time in the golden age of television, a Palomino horse named Bamboo Harvester trotted into the spotlight and into the hearts of millions. This wasn't just any horse, Bamboo Harvester was set to become Mr. Ed, the talking horse, a character that would etch itself into American pop culture. Born in 1949, Bamboo Harvester was an exceptional animal, not just in appearance but in intelligence and demeanor. His journey to stardom began when animal trainer Lester Hilton recognized his potential and began an intensive training process. The horse's natural charm and wit made him an ideal candidate for the role that would soon make him a household name. In 1961, Mr. Ed premiered, introducing audiences to a horse unlike any they'd seen before. Mr. Ed, the character, was a witty, mischievous, and sometimes philosophical horse who could talk but only chose to do so with his owner, Wilbur Post, played by actor Alan Young. The show was a blend of comedy, heart, and the occasional dash of life's lessons, all delivered by the articulate equine. But how did Bamboo Harvester become the talking Mr. Ed? The secret behind his talking was a piece of nylon thread, which was initially used to induce him to move his lips. The horse soon learned to move his lips on cue without the thread, knowing that a treat would follow. His ability to speak was synchronized with voice actor Alan Rocky Lane's lines, creating a seamless illusion that captivated viewers. Behind the scenes, Bamboo Harvester was loved by the cast and crew. Alan Young formed a particularly close bond with him, ensuring the horse was treated well and even learning his cues and behaviors. This bond translated beautifully on screen, making their interactions a joy to watch. As with all stars, Bamboo Harvester's time in the limelight eventually dimmed. After the show ended in 1966, he lived a quieter life until his passing in 1970. However, the legacy of Bamboo Harvester, or Mr. Ed, didn't end there. He left an indelible mark on television history, remembered fondly for bringing a unique brand of humor and charm to audiences around the world. The tale of Bamboo Harvester is a testament to the unexpected ways animals can touch our lives, bringing laughter and wonder through a simple, albeit fictional, ability to speak. His story remains a delightful chapter in the annals of entertainment, reminding us of the time when a horse could be not just a horse, of course, but a beloved talking companion. One, a talking horse on television. The concept of a talking horse starring in his own TV show is inherently unusual and whimsical, capturing the audience's imagination in a way few other show premises could. 2. Training to talk, Bamboo Harvester was trained to move his lips as if he were talking, which he learned to do on cue without the need for the initial nylon thread trick. This level of training goes beyond typical animal performance, highlighting his intelligence and adaptability. 3. Bond with the co-star, the special relationship between Bamboo Harvester and Alan Young, his co-star, added depth to their on-screen interactions. 
Young's commitment to the horse's well-being and their mutual affection made the character of Mr. Ed more authentic and endearing. 4. Cultural Impact The lasting fame of Mr. Ed as a cultural icon is unusual for an animal actor. Bamboo Harvester wasn't just known for his role, he became a symbol of 1960s television and left a legacy that continues to be celebrated in pop culture. 5. After Show Life Often, the post-show lives of animal actors are not well documented or followed. The continued interest in Bamboo Harvester's well-being and circumstances after the series ended reflects the strong connection audiences felt with the character.